want a cigarette? No, thank you. Thank you ever so much, just the same. Well, I'm sorry, this is the only kind I have. You have a, do you have any of your own, huh? I really don't know. I probably have. Thank you. Well, because, because if you don't, I can go up to the corner and get you some. Oh, thank you. It's awfully sweet of you to think of it. I wouldn't have you go to all that trouble for anything. Thank you ever so much. Well, for God's sakes, would you stop thanking me so much? Really? I didn't know I was saying anything out of the way. I'm awfully sorry if I hurt your feelings. I know what it feels like to get your feelings hurt. I'm sure I didn't realize it was an insult to say thank you to a person. I'm not exactly in the habit of having people swear at me because I say thank you to them. I didn't swear at you. Oh, you didn't? I see. God, all I asked was if I could go out and get you some cigarettes. Is that anything to get all up in the air about, hmm? Always up in the air. I'm sure I didn't know it was a criminal offense to say I wouldn't dream of giving you all that trouble. I'm afraid I must be awfully stupid or something. Do you want me to go get you some cigarettes or not? <laughs> Goodness! If you want to go so much, please don't feel you have to stay here. I wouldn't have you feel you had to stay for anything. Ay, 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 ay. Come, come. Hey. come on, please don't be that way. Be what way? I'm not being anyway. What's wrong, huh? Why? Nothing. Why? Because you have hardly said a word to me since I came in. And you've been acting funny all day. I'm terribly sorry you haven't been having a good time. For goodness sake. Don't feel you have to stay here and be bored. I'm sure there are millions of places you could be having a lot more fun. The only thing, I'm a little bit sorry. I didn't know before, that's all. When you said you were coming over tonight, I broke a lot of dates to go to the theater and everything. But it doesn't make a bit of difference. I'd much rather have you go and have a good time. It isn't very pleasant to sit here and feel like you're boring a person to death. <laughs> I'm not bored. I don't want to go anywhere. Love, would you just tell me what's wrong? I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. There isn't a thing on her as a matter. I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. Something's wrong. Is it something I've done? Goodness. I'm sure it isn't any of my business, whatever you do. I certainly wouldn't like to feel I have any right to criticize. Will you stop talking like that? Please? Hmm? Talking like what? You know. That's the way that you were talking on the telephone today. When I called you up, you were so a bitchy. I didn't even, oh, I was afraid to talk to you. I beg your pardon? What did you say I was? Well, I... I didn't mean to say that. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You get me so balled up. You see, I'm really not in the habit of hearing language like that. I've never had a thing like that said to me in my life. I told you I was sorry. I mean, honest love, I didn't mean it. I just, I, I don't even know how I got to say such a thing. Will you excuse me, please? Oh, certainly. Goodness, don't feel you have to apologize to me. It doesn't make any difference at all. It just seems a little bit funny to have somebody you were in the habit of thinking was a gentleman come to your home and use language like that to you, that's all. But it doesn't make the slightest bit of difference. I guess uh, nothing I say makes any difference to you. You seem to be pissed at me. Am I pissed at you? I can't understand what put that idea in your head. Why should I be pissed at you? Well, that's what I'm asking you. Why don't you tell me 
me what I've done? Have I done something to hurt you? Huh. Remember the way that you were on the phone today, you had me worried all day. I couldn't do a lick of work. I certainly wouldn't like to feel that I was interfering with your business. I know, there are lots of girls that don't think anything of doing things like that, but I think it's terrible. It certainly isn't very nice to sit here and have someone tell you, you interfere with his business. I didn't say that. I, I didn't say that. Oh, you didn't? Well, that was the impression I got. It must be my stupidity. I guess uh, I better go. I can't seem to get right. Everything I seem to say seems to make you angrier and angrier. Please, do just exactly whatever you like. I'm sure the last thing I want to do is have you stay here when you'd rather be someplace else. Why don't you go someplace where you won't be bored? Why don't you go up to Florence Lemmings? I know, she'd love to have you. I don't want to go to Florence Lemmings. Why would I want to go to Florence Lemmings for? She gives me a headache. Really? She didn't seem to be giving you so much of a headache at Elsie's party last night, I noticed. I noticed you couldn't even talk to anybody else. That's how much of a headache she gave you. Yeah, and you know why I was talking to her? Why? I suppose you think she's attractive? I suppose some people do. It's perfectly natural. Some people think she's quite pretty. I wouldn't even know if she's pretty or not. I wouldn't even know her if I saw her again. The reason why I was talking to her last night was because you wouldn't give me a tumble last night. I came up to you and tried to talk to you. And you just said, oh, how do you do? Just like that. <laughs> oh, how do you do? And then you turned right away and wouldn't even look at me. Oh, I wouldn't look at you. <laughs> that's awfully funny. Oh, that's marvelous. <laughs> oh, you don't mind if I laugh, do you? Yeah, go ahead, laugh your head off. But she wouldn't. Well, the minute you came into the room, you started making such a fuss over Florence Leeming. I thought you never wanted to see anybody else. You two seem to be having such a wonderful time together. God knows I wouldn't have butted in for anything. My God, this, uh, what's her name, girl? She came up and started talking to me before I saw anybody else. And what could I do? I couldn't suck her in the nose now, could I? I certainly didn't see you try. Oh, you saw me try and talk to you, no? And what did you do? Oh, how do you do? And then this, uh, what's her name girl came up again and there was stuck. Florence Lemming? I think she's terrible. You want to know what I think of her? I think she's stupid. That's what I think. Well, of course. That's the impression she always gave me. But I don't know. I've heard people say she's pretty. Honestly, I have. Why? She can't be pretty in the same room as you? Hmm? She has got an awfully funny nose. I really feel sorry for a girl with a nose like that. She's got a terrible nose. You got a beautiful nose. Oh, I have not. You're crazy. And beautiful eyes. And beautiful hair. And a beautiful mouth. Huh? And beautiful hands. Let me look at that little hand. <laughs> look at that little hand, huh? It's got the sweetest hands in the world. Who's the prettiest girl in the world? I don't know. Who? All you do so to know. You do know. I do not. Who? 
Florence Fleming. Ah, oh, Florence Fleming. Get him pissed about Florence Fleming. And I couldn't sleep all night, and I couldn't do a stroke of work all day because you wouldn't talk to me. Girl like you. Get into sore about Florence Fleming. <laughs> I think you're just perfectly crazy. I was not sore. What on earth ever made you think I was? You're simply crazy. Oh! My new pearl beads. Wait a second till I take them off. There.